Hello Gearspace, this is Adrian from RME at Superbooth 2024. We have a lot of new things to show you, so let's start with the power supply. So we, sh we got a lot of questions from Hi-Fi guys that wanted a power supply from us, a linear power supply that is. And this is exactly what we are giving you now. It's the DPS2 and it's a transformer balanced linear power supply with a fixed output of 12 volts and 30 watts of amplification. Great power supply. You can think of it as, as an own product because many people were confused. Oh my God, no, normally you say the power supply is not critical because of the ADI2 and SETI clock FS. That is still true. If you have, for example, a product that needs a linear 12 volt power supply, then we got you covered now with the DPS2. Of course, this works with your ADI2, ADI2 slash 4, and ADI DAC, but this is something we built because many people were asking for such kind of product. Another thing that we had in the past is, especially with leakage problems at, uh, on stage or in uh, certain areas, we needed uh, a filter because uh, we had humming issues. This is nothing uh, of, uh, with RME, but generally speaking, this is just an electronic issue that can happen because of leakage and so on. So we now have, sorry, the LNI2 DC, which is a, a galvanically isolated filter. Again, 12 volts, and you can hook it up to all of our interfaces, and then you're good. From now on, there are no humming or buzzing uh, noises whatsoever. Okay. Next to that, you can see that we have, of course, our lineup here. ADI2 DAC FS, ADI2 Pro 4SE, and ADI2 Pro FSR. And we have an ADI2 remote for that. And this remote got a lot of new features. So we lately, uh, lately came out with the version 2.1. And if you are not familiar with the ADI2 remote, let's let me give you a quick rundown. So depending on the connected ADI2, you have a list of different options. So for example, here we have connected the ADI2 slash four. That means I also have the line input here. If I have connected the ADI2 DAC, for example, then of course I wouldn't have the line input. So you can hook up several ADI2s to the same computer, by the way, and you can have many instances of this ADI2 remote open. And what the ADI2 remote will give you is full control over every setting. Normally you would go into the menu and set it here and save it there as well, but now you can do it in the ADI2 remote. So for example, I can put in my uh, favorite EQ pre preset for a headphone that I have. I can set my um, settings here, I can even share it to the community. So if I have, for example, a nice Harman curve for a speci special headphone, I can dial it in here, save it and export it. And everyone from the RME community that has an ADI2 can open it up and use it in his own device. Another thing that we now have in the two 2.0 update is the state overview and I'm a huge fan of that because the state overview means that you have in one window instance all the inputs and outputs and you can see exactly what is going on. So for example, what is the reference level of my line outputs of my um, phones? Uh, which source am I using? What digital input is connected and what is the state? So I have a total control and overview over my digital and analog I.O. Simply to die for. What can I say? It's an amazing new addition. Also, something that we upgraded now is Total Mix. And Total Mix now has, because we are living in a world now where immersive audio has become more and more important, we now give you RoomEQ. And RoomEQ can, what the name suggests, linearize your monitors with up to 20 channels. So we have this instance here open, and as you can see, we have a setting for the left and the right-hand side. 
we can set up all our nine channels with the settings that we need, and we even have delay compensation. That is critical in situations where you would have several speakers and you need to um, do a runtime and delay compensation in, in order to have um, no phase issues. By the way, you can open up the Rumi queue by opening up the tool icon down below, and the original EQ from Total Mix FX is still available. So your LFE management, you can do that, for example, here as well. Um, if you need a low card or a high card or whatever, you can still do it here and have the Room EQ on top. That is really, really cool. The last thing that I want to show you, and I'm already talking way too much, but there's, there's so much new cool stuff is DigiCheck now gets a new update. And in that update, we brought back the totalizer, and how cool is that? If you remember the guys like I am, I started out with RME in 2006, long time ago. Um, the greatest feature was the totalizer, and the totalizer gave you level meters, uh, frequency, uh, 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 frequency um, divided level meters, and a vector scope. And with DigiCheck NG, this was something that we haven't uh, done initially, but now the totalizer is back. And on top of that, something that is so cool uh, is we have an oscilloscope. So you can do full measurements now in uh, DigiCheck NG, or you can check levels or whatever. We have now an uh, oscilloscope. How cool is that? And by the way, DigiCheck is free for everyone. It's a free update. You can just download it from RME. Um, and yeah, no additional cost. It comes with every RME interface out there, even with the ADI2 series. So I think that's a great added value to the already amazing interfaces that we are doing. So thank you so much for watching. I'm Adrian from RME. And watch us at Superbooth.